The goal of this lesson is to teach you how to use the cyclic control. That's a control that moves the helicopter forward to back and side to side. In the previous video, we practiced just getting used to the rudder controls. If you practice those exercises through at least three battery recharges, or 20 to 30 minutes, you should be fairly good at it now. The next skill we're going to learn is the cyclic control. This is the control that moves the helicopter in a forward or backwards or side to side direction. It's very easy to use this control as long as the helicopter is in the regular orientation, which is with the tail pointed, pointed towards you. When the helicopter starts to turn or rotate away from that orientation, it can get very confusing. So the way we're going to practice the cyclic control in the beginning is by making sure we use the rudder to keep the tail pointed towards us. Once you start to apply some cyclic control, the helicopter is going to want to twist around a little bit, so you're going to have to use the rudder at the same time. First, make sure your helicopter is balanced. This was covered in the first video lesson. Then turn on your transmitter. Then plug in your helicopter and hold it steady for 5 to 10 seconds while the gyro stabilizes. Then set your helicopter down in your practice box. The first thing we're going to try is slide in the helicopter forwards and backwards. Now if at any time while you're doing this, the helicopter gets all disoriented, just lower the throttle and walk over and reset your helicopter by hand and make it so that the tail is pointing towards you. Now we want to make sure that our helicopter is trimmed, so we start by bringing up the throttle slowly and see if it scoots in any one direction. Okay, so it's twisting a little bit to the left, so I'm going to give it a little bit of right trim. You don't have to get your trim perfect, just get it pretty close. Now bring your throttle up to the almost hovering point and start to move your cyclic control forward until your helicopter starts to scoot forward. Did you notice how I had to add a little bit of rudder control to help keep the helicopter straight? Now we're going to do the same thing again and move the cyclic stick backwards so that the helicopter starts to scoot backwards until we reach the end of our practice box. Practice this forward and backwards scooting several times till you get good with it. Now we'll practice some side-to-side -side scooting. Start with your helicopter somewhat in the center of the practice box, bring the throttle up to the almost hovering point, and move your stick to one side and scoot the helicopter all the way to the side of the practice box. When you get to the one side, center the cyclic, then push the cyclic in the opposite direction and slide the helicopter to the other side of the box, making sure to use the rudder the whole time to keep the helicopter tail pointed towards you. This next exercise is really fun. We're going to scoot the helicopter all the way around the edge of the box. You get to put together all the things we've learned so far. So start on one side of the box, scoot till you reach one corner, then to the next corner and complete a full circle. Do this several times and then go the other way. For now, keep scooting the helicopter around with the tail always pointed towards you. In the next lesson, we'll start to work with different orientations of the helicopter.
In the next lesson set, we're going to be practicing with the nose of the helicopter now pointed towards us. We'll also be practicing with the side of the helicopter pointed towards us.